वेलकम टू बैक टू डे टॉपिक दैट इज री एब्जॉर्बन फ्रॉम हेनस लुक दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ ऑल पार्ट ऑफ किडनीज एंड हेनस लुक दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ नेफ्रॉन एंड नेफ्रॉन इज पार्ट ऑफ किडनी दिस मीन्स नेफ्रॉन इज द यूनिट ऑफ किडनी एंड हेनस लुप दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ नेफ्रॉन okay henus loop is a part of nephron then today we will discuss now we will discuss about the reabsorption from henus loop what is reabsorbed what's of which things reabsorption is happen from the henus loop then when we study about the henus loop then we study about two things one is descending limb and other is ascending limb descending limb that absorb reabsorption of quarter 5% possibly this means from the descending limb descending limb is a part of henus loop and from the descending limb reabsorption of water 5% will be possibly that is by passively not actively passively reabsorption of water 5% okay and from the ascending limb of henus loop reabsorption of nacl only okay can you see here that from ascending loop reabsorption of nacl sodium chloride only and from the from the descending limb reabsorption of water 5% possibly okay and from the ascending limb reabsorption of nacl only okay second point that is reabsorption from distal convoluted tubule okay you know good way that one nephron has three parts first part is called proximal convoluted tubule second part is called henel's loop okay and henel's loop is two part one day is ascending limb another is descending limb and third part is called distal convoluted tubule okay distal convoluted tubule its name is distal why because this is a pargent away but proximal convoluted away from the convoluted tube so its name is distal convoluted tube but proximal convoluted tube proximal means near that is present near convoluted tube so that's the name is proximal convoluted tube and its name is distal convoluted tube okay so reabsorption from distal convoluted tube okay come here first is conditional reabsorption of water conditional reabsorption of water 30% under influence of adh this means vasopressin okay vasopressin okay second conditional and active reabsorption of sodium ion conditional and active reabsorption of sodium ion by aldosterone what is aldosterone that is the mineral corticoid okay this means reab third point is chloride ion passively reabsorb due to electric gradient and water reabsorb passively due to osmotic gradient indirectly by aldosterone salt retention hormone aldosterone is salt retention hormone fourth point that is other electrolytes ions are also reabsorb from distal convoluted tubule this means absorption from the distal convoluted tubule reabsorption from distal convoluted tubule is water 
ओके थर्टी परसेंट अंडर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ एडीएस दिस इज द कंडीशनल एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ वाटर इफ एडीएस इन्फ्लुएंस विल नॉट हैपन देन वाटर रिऑब्जॉर्बन विल नॉट हैपन डिजिटल कन्बुलेटेड ट्यूबुल सो इट इज कंडीशनल रिऑब्जॉर्बन इफ एडीएस सिक्रेशन विल हैपन देन वाटर रिऑब्जॉर्बन विल हैपन नाइदर नॉट हैपन ओके This means water reabsorption will happen. This is the conditional. This is also conditional. Active reabsorption of sodium ion, water, sodium ion. Third, chloride ion. Okay, and fourth, also others ions. But condition is available. Water reabsorption will happen if ADA secretion will happen. Sodium adsorption, sodium reabsorption will happen when, when aldosterone secretion will happen. Aldosterone is present, then sodium ions reabsorption will happen. Okay, chloride ion passively reabsorb due to electric gradient and water reabsorb passively due to osmotic gradient indirectly. By aldosterone. Okay, this means from the distal convoluted tubule, water reabsorption will happen. Okay, sodium ion absorption is happen. Chloride ion absorption is happen. Okay. Next. Next point that is reabsorption from collecting duct. What things of which reabsorption will happen from collecting duct means water and urea. Water and urea reabsorption will happen from collecting duct, but not actively. Water and urea reabsorption will happen from collecting duct by passively. Okay, passively. Okay, okay. That reabsorption from collecting duct, water and urea passively. Next point, next topic. That is the secretion. Tubular secretion. From proximal convoluted tubule. Okay, what is secreted from the proximal convoluted tubule comes here, 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 and no secretion that is tubular secretion from proximal convoluted tubule that is ammonia. From proximal convoluted tubule secretion from proximal convoluted tubule ammonia, hydrogen ion. potassium and some drugs creatinine hyaluronic acid okay this secretion is happen this all is secreted by proximal convoluted tubule okay next that is from Penis loop, urea in ascending limb, secretion from penis loop, secretion from penis loop, urea in ascending limb, and from distal convoluted tubule, hydrogen ion, potassium ion, mainly. Hydrogen ion, potassium ion, mainly. Okay. Here, three point. You know that one nephron has three part: proximal convoluted tubule, henle slope, and distal convoluted tubule. Secretion from the proximal convoluted tubule is ammonia, hydrogen ion, potassium ion, some drugs, creatinine, and hyaluronic acid. Secretion from henle slope that is urea in ascending limb. 
okay and from distal convoluted tubule that is hydrogen ion and potassium ion mainly okay